order it and make it blue. And can I make any of these thinner? These are taking up a lot of room. Let's see, these can be thinnerized like that, skinnerized. This one can be even more skinnerized. And you could be skinner. I know I could be skinnerized a little bit, but it's not so easy. It's not so easy as that to skinnerize me. I'm going to say, okay. So then we're going to say this is going to be, let's make a skinny O. And this is going to be the R or the correlation. And I'll make this the header black and white. Home tab, font group, let's make it black, let's make it white. And I'm going to start with the sum of the Z of X times, it's hard for me to get a Z on the keyboard because I don't think I finger it right. Z of Y, I don't think I'm using the right fingers of that. My typing instructor in high school would scowl at me if she saw me. This would be equal to the sum. It's one of the hardest classes I had in high school that I took a typing class. It's supposed to be easy typing. Crazy lady just makes it difficult, but probably a good class. N minus one, very useful skill here. And then we're going to say this will be N, this will be less one, and so N minus one. And so then we're going to say then uh, uh, this needs to be just N, not that. Okay, and then so the N is going to be the number. So it's just count them. I'm going to use a count formula to do that because that's the fancy way to do it. And you know we're being fancy using Excel here. Count them, which is going to count all four of them. Four of them minus one. And then underline this is going to be equal to the four minus one. All right, let's do some indentation here. Home tab, alignment, indent. Indentation here, home tab, alignment, indent. And we'll just kind of recap what we did here. So we did the whole top part for each of the data points to get to here. Then we summed them up to get the whole numerator, which I put on the outer side because that's our numerator. Then I did a subcalculation inside in like a tax return uh, style here. So we can then see the table of what is happening. We did N minus one with a colon and then pulled inside here indicated with a, with a tab as well as it in the inner column of the number of cells N, which are four of them, minus one according to the formula gives us three. And then we're just going to divide to give us the R or the correlation. So we're going to say this is going to be equal to 2.77 divided by 3 and decimalize it. Home tab, number group, decimalize. We get 0.92 on the correlation. So there's definitely a correlation there. It's not a perfect correlation. As we saw in the prior presentation, if it were, it would be 1. So let's format that. I'm going to select this stuff. We're going to go to the home tab font group, border and blue. And then now that we have that, we can we could just kind of double check it by doing the simple correlation calculation with our data analytics. So I'm just going to select this as the data that we're going to use. I'm going to go into the data tab and let's go into our data analysis. If you don't have that, you go into the file tab on the left. You go into the options down below. You go into the add-ins, the Excel add-ins, and then you go into the Excel add-ins and you check off the analysis tool pack. If you want to be on top of the pack, you need the analysis tool pack. So there's the data analysis. So now we're going to go in and say data analysis. We're going to click on it. I'm going to say it too. You don't have to say it. You could just click on it, but I'm going to say it and click on it. I think it's better uh, to say it because then you know what, then you kind of get what you're doing. So variance. So anyways, this is a correlation. We're going to say, okay, the data we want is this data. I'm going to select the header and include the header. If I include the X and Y header, I'm going to remember to check off that labels 
to note that I did include the labels. I want to put it somewhere. I want to tell Excel where I want to put it. I will tell Excel where it needs to go. Otherwise, Excel just puts it wherever it wants to put it, like on another tab or something. You're like, Excel, why did you do that? That's not where I wanted it. And Excel's like, you didn't tell me where I wanted it. It was like, okay, I guess you have a point, Excel. You win this round. This is where I want to put it. So we're going to go to the Home tab, Font Group. This is going to be black, white. This is going to be blue and bordered, bordered blue. And so now this is the number we're looking at because that's looking at the relationship between X and Y. And you can see that you have the point uh, 921988 relationship tying out to what we have here. If we did that, that other data analysis with this little bit of data just to practice it as well, if I go up to the uh, data and I go into my data analysis, the super cool tool pack, we're going to say let's do the descriptive statistics and so i'm going to pick the range where i have my home i have my home on the range home on the range and then i'm going to pick that's a song sorry about that i got distracted i'm going to check these two then statistics and i probably it's not don't really need this one but i'll check it off anyway the output range i want to put it where do i want to put it I'll tell you, not in a new worksheet, Excel. I want everything in one spot. Otherwise, I need to know where it is. You start putting stuff on new worksheets and everything's all scattered all over the place. It's like going into some messy room or something. It needs to all be in where it's supposed to go. So then I'm gonna say, okay. So then it gives us our standard stats. So we've got the mean the standard error which may not be a play called the median the mode there is no mode because there was no repeated thing because there's only four data points standard deviation variance uh kurtosis skewness range and so on and so forth there's our count of four but remember this is static data so this is a great tool to kind of first look at your data set but you might not want to use it to build your model because the model would be nice if you could change it if there were changes to your to your data over here all right, let's just do some formatting to clean this up. I'm gonna do some blue borders, blue borders here. And uh, let's do the blue borders over on this stuff too, why not? Let's do it this way first. I'll do the blue borders, blue border blue and black and white. Muy B to the N, B N Hermosa. Looks good. All right uh so that that is it let's spell check it actually spelling correlation i can't spell it that's what i'm working on i can't spell it all right i'm going to spell it right next time next practice problem you watch i will be able to spell correlation